Hi my Libra, how are you? Nice to see you back, my Cyber Angel. And if you are a new viewer, welcome to the channel. And I will give the news, the latest news at the end of the uh, video. So um, if you would like to hear the news, then hang on in there at the end of the video. It's to your own advantage. It's nice to see you back, like I said, and welcome to the new people. And you have uh, the place number seven. You're the seventh in, in rank because I had 25 likes from you. Libra, thank you very much. I appreciate it. I appreciate, I appreciate your appreciation. Now, uh, for those that are new, I'm doing my nine card spread, which I also do in my private readings. Um, and this is the querent card or the overall energy. This is Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. The cards in the corners are the clarifying cards and they can be clarified by the three cards around it or vice versa. And I've got the... Um, mystical shaman deck uh, from Colored Baron Reed and I'm using the Shadowlands and the Enchanted uh, Dream Tarot. So um, have a look at uh, the uh, review list if you would like to see more of these decks. Right, now I'm going to start with the Querent or the Overall Energy and you, um, I will be going extensively also into this with regards to the chakras and meditation side of it. There's loads of information so hang on in there because the reading won't be finished after I've done the spread. You've got number three, so you are be, you've been creative, and you, you have the three of pentacles, which means recognition. You've got recognition for your hard work, whether you're an apprentice or whether you have your own business or whether you're working. So there could be a promotion for you this week, or there could be recognition from clients. So you might be getting more clients. Awesome, nice one. Um, then we have on month. Sorry, um, yes, thank you, guides, uh, angels. I've got the wrong one to start off with. That's why it won't work. You've got the Queen of Swords. There might be a um, a Libra around you, Libra, and if it is not, you, uh, if there isn't a Libra around you, as the Queen of Swords means also represents Libra, this could be yourself. You're feeling very well. You, you feel good within yourself. You feel as if you've got things in balance. Things are clear to you. Um, you might be looking for more information. You might be the advisor if you are not seeking advice from an other Libra, but don't exclude Gemini or Aquarius, as they are also the air sign. So uh, uh, perhaps uh, an other Libra, a Gemini or an Aquarian might be helping you finding clarity. Things will become clear to you this week though because you have public recognition for example. So things are becoming clear to you why people are liking you. Perhaps you might even start an enquête. The, an enquête means uh, uh, you might start asking people what do you think about the store or about my business blah 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 so you will get clarity and sorry about that you will get clarity with regards um, to an issue or a question you have perhaps you might realize that it's been clear to you all the way because you've got recognition this could be in a job this could be in a business this could be at school or college university because you've been studying very hard and you still are your wish is coming true you've got number 17 so that is an 8 you are in your powerhouse you are in your strength um, also your money house like you've passed your exams you've got uh, you've got recognition of your hard work you might get a promotion so perhaps that was your wish um, if it wasn't a meeting up with an other Libra or a Gemini or an Aquarian Wow 
because we do have the page of cups here so that could be with regards to love as well you well I'm, I'm shooting ahead in your reading I don't know Libra sometimes your reading takes a life o takes over a light and takes a life of its own um, I've had this with you before um, and it just goes boom 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 it's like a Niagara Falls when I read for you but I've got to cut myself back and keep myself in balance otherwise it might not be clear to you but your wish or goal is coming true it's there it's already confirmed with the three of pentacles the overall energy and of course this is the energy or you uh, the querent but this is I'm taking this as the overall energy in this reading you have got recognition this could be on Monday Wednesday or Friday or even Saturday and Sunday and you are you might be balancing or you might have felt you had to balance everything but that's one of your um, uh, points that you are recognized for trying to always balance these scales I think I'm getting more or less a, a certain feeling that you are in balance this week if not you will come to balance it will become clear to you how to maintain the balance either between your heart and soul or your heart and mind because the bookcase does mean thinking thinking think, thinking seeking information you are always busy in your mind so get out of your mind perhaps that is the lesson that you've learned how to balance to take time out and not always be busy within your mind okay you need balance between work and rest or work and play to keep the work front and your home front separate you have to maintain the balance in order to enjoy life to receive that love perhaps somebody might send you a message of love or a message of passion because you've got the page of cups and the page of cups also represents Pisces but don't exclude Cancer or Scorpio um, of course this could also be about your work because you sh a lot of you uh, Libra are passionate about your career passionate about your work you want to cross your T's and touch your eyes you're a bit of a perfectionist in that way so you know don't work all the time because work 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 makes Jack a dull boy that's the saying in England so allow time to play okay now we're going to the first corner card and you've got perspective in the traditional tarot that means the hanged man now I'm getting a smell here uh, that's like burning joysticks um, jasmine or vanilla so that might be significant to somebody that burns these joysticks or wears this perfume burning burning uh, vanilla or jasmine so this could be a message for you perhaps you might have to get a different perspective take time out because in the traditional tarot this is the hanged man there could be delays or take time out to meditate or contemplate and I say forcefully or enhance uh, contemplate and evaluate don't lose sight that is what I'm hearing don't lose sight the basic meaning means m meditate taking time out delays um, and it's a free will delay uh, this, this is my own conclusion uh, on or uh, and analytic point of view is um, on the hanged man get a different point of view like the eagle get a bird's eye view that is what I'm also hearing but that's my own interpretation there might be delays for four hours four days four weeks or four months well we all have had a lockdown and that could have been the delay the delay is over now there is no time you can't see the hands of the clock it was man made this is the message but you've had time to get a different perspective to be creative to get the recognition that you seek okay to get the qualification uh, or the admiration 
That is what I'm also hearing, admiration, to get your wish fulfilled. It is here, right. You've gathered the knowledge. You've been creative because the air signs are creative with their mind. They know there is a there. You've got loopholes in life. I see somebody doing this. Loopholes. You can break. You can. You don't have to break the law, but you can skip through loopholes to get what you want if you are working within the law and that is your challenge Libra you always seek answers the balance the truth and you skip through loops this is what I'm getting seeing as well and you sow the seeds and you know the seeds that you sow will come to fruition and that is what is happening now as you've got the seven of pentacles and we are in the seventh month now so perhaps this month in July you will see your plans coming to fruition or your seeds your wishes coming true that is could be your seeds that your wish it has taken time that have been delays because it takes time when you plant seeds to grow and nurture them and give them water and talk to them and see them grow blossom and harvesting you're getting your harvest wow you've been balancing this time okay you're getting the news it's coming very very you've got a different perspective and you've also now you're balancing with your perspective and with your e intuitiveness because you've got the meditation spiritual card here you have learned how to use your intuition good on you and that's what I mean saying balancing between heart and soul heart and mind you are the mind element like Gemini and Aquarius now in this corner we have the king of cups the king of cups is um, a man or somebody rather that has reached the stage of the status of the king of cups it could be a woman but I think it is a man I'm feeling masculine energy here but it could be a woman with masculine energy career-wise orientated a steadfastness business-like um, like I said you might be doing business forming partnerships here okay uh, not only love but passion something that you're both passionate about the king of cups is cancer but don't ex exclude Scorpio or Pisces he's a nurturing caring loving passionate man he will help you and I hope you will help them he knows how to make plants grow it's like the king of Pentacles and he has taught you perhaps or she has taught you how to make your dreams come true how to get recognition and to keep balance perhaps you've seeked advice from a king of cups if you are not partnered up with the king of cups in love or work doesn't matter because we've got the legal factor here so you might have seeked advice from a, a Libra an other Libra or an air sign because they stand for legalities and perhaps they have cancer Scorpio or Pisces within their chart they are caring and nurturing and precise Wow as precise and sharp as an air sign Wow you've got good cards here and for those that seek love um, or recognition you might be meeting the king of cups and that's a cancer or don't exclude Scorpio or Pisces or the queen of cups and that is the queen of uh, sorry queen of swords and that is Libra and other Libra or Aquarius don't exclude Aquarius or Gemini perhaps you might have met somebody and it's clicked because uh, you feel balanced and uh, somebody that understands the way you think and the way you do things and how passionate you can be about something awesome passion loads difficult times are over you've got the ten of ones 
don't give up now I know the last few steps are the toughest but it's worth your while because your dream is coming true there is an ending ten is an ending new beginning you don't give up you've got the recognition that's the overall energy your wish is coming true you've got the information and you've got the guidance you can see clear clearly now you can see clearly now to your goal okay now I'm going to come back to this card um, with the chakra etc etc in a minute so stay there but we've got one more card and this is the mystical shaman now the shaman is also an other word for magician and in the tarot card the magician is also uh, also represents Gemini or Aries so there you go your air sign but I'm taking just the Oracle as it is he's a magician so you have all the elements within you and around you to make your dream come true okay and that goes very well with your reading now you've got the eagle as well here and where did I see the eagle um, here so and again get a different perspective he can see from both worlds the shaman can travel in both worlds the physical world and the mental world and that is a very strong point for you Libra okay I'm going to go that is my interpretation of the card and you've got 38 so that is 11 the angels are with you a new porthole the angels and the divine are giving you a doorway okay this is the symbol of the myth maker and storyteller you're good at that as well who is neither made or nor divined by the story instead he observes it evolves through it I was talking about loopholes and I haven't read this one before okay evolves through it perceives all aspects of it the hanged man different points of view a different vision in doing so the mystical shaman represents the ability to dream a new story a new myth into being he dances between two worlds there you go I said that the mental world and the practical world wearing the cloak of the world loosely around his shoulders and sings the world into being he reminds us to be in the world and travel through it but not to be defined by it or become too attached to the experience this is a symbol of true alchemy for all elements for all elements I've lost my place now sorry elements of life have a spiritual aspect and a material one there you go and the material one and a different ooh, I love this how these cards come together when we remember this all manner of miracles and manifestations are possible now what to do is called either um, invitation okay when the mystical shaman appears you are invited to consider ability to live without attachment you are called to create and dream your life to act on inspiration and divine impulse without fixing fixating on a known story or on what you want of success and achievement can you imperately observe the stories you tell yourself and others what if you could become a mystery to yourself who you become if you stopped telling the tales that have defined you up till now you do not have to live in a story that has roots in the past in other words let the past go it's not here anymore you can't change it it's made who you are 
and it can only help you to change the present and the future. What if there were no need to explain to you anyone, not even to yourself? The way to your most extraordinary life is to become a blank slate and allow the form of your dreams and desires to show up as it will. This is the sign of manifesting a life beyond your wildest dreams. There you go, your wish or goal card. Just start again, leave the past the past. Now if I do a one to one reading, this is the past, this is the present and this is the future energy. And I also read this way and the diamond. But this is just a general reading and otherwise it would be too long. So I hope you enjoy that so far. Now we're going to take the Three of Pentacles. Okay, and I've got to go to the Three of Pentacles first. And that's the Three of Earth. Now the Three of Earth is recognition, um, inv advancement in uh, work life or business. Uh, it's um, also signing contracts, new contracts, from apprentice to a job. Now this is the Three of Earth. This is the um, um, the element that is um, that's the chakra. Um, it's the root chakra. Then we've got the element, and I'll tell you that in a minute. This is a planet and this is the sign and then the chakra so I will go into that and I'll just it's the I'll have to have a look the three of earth now the characteristics of the three of earth is negotiating a business deal, like I said, working, apprenticeships, the quality is synthesized work, the planet was Mars, uh, and musing, synthesize and actualization. Okay, so bringing it into life, the ideas that you have. Okay. Now the root chakra that is based of base of spine, and that's the color red. That's the triangle that I just showed you, and the lotus. Okay. The element earth, the note C, symbol the square with four petals. That's the flower. And the planet is Earth and Saturn. The meaning is the root and support and foundation chakra. Main function is embodiment and instinctual. Now Libra, you have five symbols and you've got the element and that is uh, the root chakra. Then you've got the touch symbol and then you've got the planet and the star's astrological sign and the chakra. So uh, that is what I've just uh, read to you that you have the earth sign and the earth sign is Capricorn and the planet that is Venus. Love, attraction, compassion and connection and Capricorn is solid, cautious, structured, self-controlled, taking care of earthly needs and careers and this is the career, right? The earthly needs is money. Also, perhaps finding love, finding clarity towards going to what you want. Okay, now I'm going to dis I'm going to describe what the author of the book has uh, said um, uh, uh, about the card, and um, also. Uh, you have the planet Mars. Okay. Let's just have a look. Planet Mars. And Mars is desire, 
um, and drive and courage and that is your star sign awesome okay that is what pentacle 3 means drive desire and courage negotiation there you are beautiful the three of earth indicates a group of group activity it often refers to negotiation or negotiating a business deal or a way of working together three of earth portends this the synthesizing of ideas into successful efforts it suggests being one part of a triad or or a pre apprentice training Res um, advices respect and work with others around you everybody involved has a role everyone is connected harmonize all factors in order to create the story that the author uses to describe what she means is in my 20s I worked for a non-profit skill screen studio one of my jobs was to set up the other groups to print their own posters I would narrow down the printing uh, variables set up the registration get the inks mixed according to the type of paper image details and screen mesh even though each person was given a specific task they all had to watch and make sure that nothing was going wrong which could cause hours of delay well we've got the hanged man that was in the past and she's speaking in the past The more smoothly things went, the faster and easier it was to get successful posters. So in other words, work with each other and work with the people around you. Don't be scared to ask for help. And I think I've mentioned that in the reading as well. Your reading did become a little bit longer than normal. Now, um, the root chakra, that is the, it is situated um, at the bottom of the spine like I said alright it grounds you it grounds you it's a very um, yeah I'll talk to you about it a little bit more that's the root chakra and then you've got the anatomy of the root chakra and then if for e every it will go deeper into it but it's the neck the colon and the knees and you can find it back uh, which um, uh, zodiac sign is aligned with each of the anatomy signs okay um, like uh, Virgo is the colon and then you've got Capricorn is the knees and who else Leo Taurus is the neck so Taurus is the first house so that also um, is those is the, the signs of the anatomy of the earth things the sense is smell and this is crazy because I smelled a really potent smell when I was doing your reading jasmine and vanilla so that might be significant so yeah get grounded uh, Libra really get grounded body response con contraction contraction emotions courage or fear the color is deep red keywords physical sense work money structure methodical organized and grounded so ground yourself okay be methodical me methodical that is what I also said in your reading cross your T's and dot your eyes work structuredly and money is important to you as Libra that is what you are also associated with and I said don't work too hard make sure that you take time out balance this is um, this and this book is so amazing I'm even learning things but I can never ever remember them that because I have a problem with my memory sorry so that's why I have to work but the foods for 
the earth signs and that is what I wanted to go a little bit further with you not because you're an air sign or anything specific because I love you all but this is why I said go and have a look at the review the earth signs they usually eat um, uh, aces pentacles russet potatoes um, sorry yes the ace of pentacles the two of pentacles is daikon the three is radishes so eat a lot of radishes that is your card for this week and the earth signs are basically um, greens or, or um, vegetables with roots they grow underground like potatoes carrots turnips yams okay so that was the message from the chakras and the meditation that you could do is the earth meditations but I'm going to make different um, uh, meditations uh, next week once I've done the romance readings so perhaps you might like to come back next week and learn how to do a third eye or a heart or a throat chakra meditation and I hope you've enjoyed this reading if you would like to have a one-on-one -on -one reading with me then please look below the video in the description box or click on that white dot in the top right hand corner and also um, if you do that then you can see Brenda from Brenda Tarot's readings and um, she is also a Reiki master and a reading and we do work together sometimes but she thinks the same way as I do with regard to chakra and Reiki and you know I really love all of you thank you very much I hope you have a wonderful week and if you don't know by now that there is a competition going on Friday night I will be this Friday night um, I will be going out to discuss the competition um, as you can win one of the Shadowland tarot decks in first place or you have a choice between the vice versa that is a deck that I've used and I'm giving away um, but the Shadowlands will be brand spanking new and that is with compliments of um, Shiver uh, Publishers, the Red Feather uh, uh, Publishers um, then uh, with great thanks I'm allowed to do this competition and nobody is a loser the second place will uh, the second place a winner will get the deck that is uh, left uh, because the first place has the choice between the two decks and whoever uh, whatever is left over the second place will get that deck so it could be the new Shadowlands uh, if somebody already has the Shadowlands and the third place will be a 20 minute free reading so go and have a look at the competition video as well so take care please give us the thumbs up and share with family and friends love you all. and remember I go live on Monday Wednesday and Friday I put notifications out on Instagram Facebook and in the community sector of YouTube as a lot of viewers have complained they're not getting notified take care bye bye <laughs>